my top 10 picks for eyeshadow palettes in 2021. We're going to start that video right now. Hello, my friends. I am so glad that you're here with me today. This is a fun video because eyeshadow palettes is always something that we makeup lovers seem to just dive headlong into. They're so much fun. And I wanted to make this a separate video, just like I'm going to make the foundation a separate video. We are going to be swatching quite a few, so we better get into that video right now. All right, we're going to do this in a countdown style. So in at number 10 is from ColourPop and it is the Stone Cold Fox palette. This palette is one that kind of just ticks all the boxes for a neutral lover's dream. And this is something that can go warm neutral, cool neutral, or just plain neutral. It is a beautiful palette and it has that great ColourPop formula that we all look for. So many of these are very buttery, very high beam, and I just think this palette knocked it out of the park as far as covering so many different tones that you need when you're looking at neutrals. We have the cool, the very, very cool, and then we go into a very neutral. I'll just swatch just a few of them so you can see. So this, this to me would be the part that is very, very cool toned, very muddy looking. I love that about it when it looks like it's just got that grayish tone to it. Soft and buttery. I love these. They're just that good. And then they even had just a little bit of the pinks in here or not really pinks, kind of mauve colors. I kind of tick that box about them being more along the lines of the cool neutrals. So I love these neutral tones. They're just so pretty. There's the mauve tones that I was talking about. So beautiful. Definitely I'm going to have to raise my sleeve here. And then the next one would be more along the lines of just a basic neutral, which I think that they did very well in here too. I love ColourPop Shadow Formula. If you've never had a chance to try them before, they truly are just this gorgeous, buttery formula that sticks around. They're very easy to blend. I just think that they're next level. And this palette was one that I just really gravitated towards and I wore it a ton this year. Another palette that I picked up this year that actually didn't have anything to do with coming out this year or anything like that, but I personally got it for the first time and it's the Persona Identity Palette, the original. This palette just stole my heart because I loved the formula. Now there are quite a few warm tones in here and as you know, lots of times I don't wear warm tones, but but I'm telling you that these worked for me and I could layer them together and make them look so pretty. And I think that's what I love. The other thing is that I loved the shimmers in here. They're super buttery and super soft. And even though I have a little bit of texture across my eyelids, they didn't make it look like texture at all. And they are just stunners. The mattes in here are super duper silky. And I just thought that they did a really great job on this palette all the way around. And as you can see right there from just those swatches, what a gorgeous, beautiful rendering of colors for neutrals there are in here. And I really liked that those weren't chunky at all. None of the shimmers were chunky. They just left this beautiful swath of metallic across there. Some of them weren't as shimmery as others, which is really good when you have textured eyelids as well. And I just really loved this one so much. That was number nine. And at number eight is the Tartlet Full Bloom. And I actually did a video on using this one in the video. And I will make sure that I link that for you. But this just was so gorgeous. And I know that everybody said, it's because you were drawn to the purple on the front, Melissa. Well, that might be true, but there were some gorgeous mauve tones in here as well. And I really fell in love with this palette. The formula is every bit what Tarte's formula is. It's very soft and it's very buttery, but I loved that they gave us so many options in this palette. It reminds me very much almost of the Stone Cold, but you're not seeing those options as much because 
it's set in a gold background so it might look a little bit extra warm to you whereas there are warms in here but it's pinks and mauves and cool tones and i just fell in love with it completely so here are the swatches for it what i liked about this palette is that it truly wasn't too pigmented and you might think that that is weird but when your light tone skin um, light to medium sometimes the shadows that you wear can get so dark so quickly and that was really a, a worry for me with these but these just really are buildable but they don't go on so stark in the beginning that you're going to get your look looking too dark too fast and so i really appreciated that one and at number seven are the little palettes that came out from essence the one that i love the most was the taupe it up and then i really liked to mauve it mauve it one as well i really liked to mauve it mauve it <laughs> it's Anyway, I just love that this was such a muted mauve toned palette. It has some of the prettiest colors in it, and I really fell in love with this. And it is one of those ones that, again, you don't have that stark in your face right off the bat look. You get these muted tones that you can build up, but you also don't have to have them st so stark. And these are just beautiful mauve tones. They're not like deep purple tones or anything like, like that. They're just cool mauve tones. And then of course the taupe one is quite cool as well. And this one is gorgeous for all of these beautiful grays in here. I like that you almost had to work at building these up again because you have to be careful when you're very light skinned, but it will deepen up really well with that darkest color in here. So I would say that if you're anybody that has been needing the those muted tones or those lighter tones in your wardrobe for your eyeshadow, this is gorgeous. And these palettes were really good. And at number six is the main stage palette from LA Girl Cosmetics. This one is the Desert Dream Main Stage. And these colors are so vibrant and so beautiful. And I wore this a lot in the summertime. However, I am taking a combination of these two colors right here on my eyelids today. And then these two colors down here just to darken up a little bit on the outer part of the lid. The formula of LA Girl, if you haven't tried these yet, rich, buttery, gorgeous, beautiful formula. And I can't say enough about how buttery the mattes are. They're just extremely beautiful. But the stars are obviously the shimmers because they're so buttery and so beautiful that they do not show up texture. And that's what I love about them. Let me just swatch five of those for you as well. Just a gorgeous formula and i really fell in love with them and you can tell that they're going to be very rich and pigmented but what you can't tell on the camera is how easily blendable they are these are ones that stick around and especially if you use a really good eye primer i use anastasia beverly hills eye primer and it is one that just makes everything budge proof for me all day long so if you're wondering how to make your shadows extra vibrant and how to have them stick around anastasia beverly hills is the ticket so this is a beautiful palette that i absolutely loved and at number five is the violet voss cool vibes palette this one i really feel feel like this is a really good mix of cool and neutral and it does have this shade right in here which really does carry off quite warm i find that if you have one warm shade one that you feel like you just can't work with because you feel like you're too cool tone if you put that in your transition and really super buff that out that's what i've done today on that i used that palette this palette today and this is what i used for the neutral colors on my eye and then this is what i used from la girl for the colorful part of my eye today but it's just one of those palettes again violet voss's formula is so good it's so buttery it's so creamy and I really have enjoyed working with it. It's been something that I hadn't tried before. And so using her formula was really fun for me. And again, we have a lot of lighter colors in here that we can work with. But if you're deeper, you're going to have a great time with this palette because it has those deep, beautiful tones. Now, this is very much like the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. That one does have more colors in it than this one does. But if you've been thinking about the 
Natasha Denona and you couldn't afford it, this might be a great option for you. And I just think that those are just some stunning, stunning colors. I was really drawn to a lot of neutral tone palettes this year. I didn't hardly have any in my eyeshadow collection at all. And then I just found that I was drawing more and more towards those because I wanted to try formulas, but also because I was kind of toning down what I was wearing. And even though I do love to wear a colorful look like this, when I wanna reach for just something that is just neutrals, the browns, the grays, that kind of thing, it's gonna be one of those palettes in the and that Violet Voss Cool Vibes ticks off all the boxes for me. I love that thing. At number four, this one, I don't know if it's still available. I am crossing my fingers and hoping that you guys can still get this because I love this palette. This is Smitten in Switzerland from BH Cosmetics. This is a fabulous palette. Everything about this palette I love. I love that it is so many different colors, but do you see how muted they are compared to some of the color palettes that you get today? So if you are somebody that likes doing a pink, you can do that. If you like doing a green, if you like doing blue, if you like silver, you have so many choices in here, but you also can go down the road of just neutrals. I've done that with this palette as well. This is a beautiful, almost a khaki gray, and it it leans very very cool toned and I love that about it this one right here you would think that that would be a very stark pink but let me show you what it is it's not super dark it's a very muted pink and then you have the other tones in here that are just so pretty I love the greens in here the greens in here that khaki gray green right there I love wearing that one because it it really pulls cool tone. So this palette is another one that I love. I really like all of these ones that they named after cities and places because the formula in it was so good from BH Cosmetics. I had really, really fallen in love with the formula. So that is in at number four. And then in at number three, the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. This has been talked about so much and everybody knows that Natasha Denona has a great formula, but I really never got swept into even the one that I have that is her, oh, what is it called? The Glam Palette with all the neutral tones and even the tones that lean cool. I liked that, but it wasn't like my favorite in the world. But this one, this one just has the potential to do so many things for me because I love to wear a pink eyeshadow. I love wearing it. I love burgundies and pinks and that kind of thing. But you absolutely have the um, neutral tones in here and then you get these warmer tones in here which work they even if you don't normally like warm tones they work really well for me so this palette i debated back and forth and when it came out i was like i'm not picking that up because i really didn't think that it was for me i thought that it was going to be one that was just a little bit redundant for my collection but i'm so glad i did because the colors are just incredibly beautiful and i feel like this palette of many of her palettes that i had the chance to pick up this palette was one that i could just work with so easily and create different looks with and really have enjoyed it so very much and that was one that again i was a holdout i just didn't think i needed this but i'm really glad that i went ahead and got it because i feel like it's a really beautiful addition to my eyeshadow in it number two is the lust for dusk palette this palette completely stole my heart. I love this palette. This is a palette that I can get so many looks out of. I felt again like it was going to be too warm, but even this color down here that is a very light peach, I can wear that and it look really good. I love the real peach that's in here, the very, very peach one. There is just some stunner colors in here. Colors that I, if I was making a palette, I never would have put together, but I'm here to tell you they come together and they go together so well. Every one of these surprised me. There are so many different like duochromes, trichromes, different textures, different possibilities in this palette. I can't even begin to tell you how many different possibilities there are from using this palette. I really fell in love with it. And it was one of those, I wanna just swatch this one. This is probably my favorite color in here. It's just a very, very different color. It's not like 
white it's not like it's almost like a light wheat color and it's so pretty so the formula again it's a beautiful color pop formula very easy to blend very easy to work with and yes it was one of those ones that i really love All right can you guess what my number one pick is i went gaga over this palette as soon as it came out and it's the rose quartz from huda beauty this palette is insanely me <laughs> i mean when i say that that it is just the the kind of palette that I would have put together if I could have put a palette together. Maybe I would have put in a little bit more bluer purples in here and there, but together this palette is a stunner. Right here you have a almost like a balm type formula that she created that when it comes together it is just like putting a glaze on your eyes. It's gorgeous. And then in down here, this is one of the colors that I put on one of my videos that I really adore. This is a color that shifts colors and it is incredible on your eyelid. I'm looking at my little viewfinder, pardon me. It is beautiful. And then she really did some fantastic mattes in here too. She, I love this pink that she put in here because it's light enough for me to use as a base and then put some of those other shimmers over top of. She did a great job with that one. And you can hardly see it, but it is really pretty on my eyes. She did other textures in here, which are stunners. Look at the reflect on that. So it's almost like it's a taupe, it's a purple, it's a mauve, what is it? It's, it's just so pretty. These are really great formulas, really beautiful colors that I would never have thought to put together, but she did a great job. That is like a dusty mauve, deepened mauve, so pretty. And then this one out here, which is the super deep one. I love working with this one because it has, again, just hints of mauve in it but it's dark gray and it's almost like a gunmetal gray type color it, this is a stunning palette everything she did in here i love she does this swirl one right here in the corner this is a gorgeous pink that can brighten up just about any look and i'm running out of places it's just really pretty so all of them are special special shadows and i have never been that impressed with her shadows before i didn't get the naughty palette because i felt like it was going to be way too warm i got the mercury in retrograde which i've already decluttered because it just didn't work for me but this palette every time i pick it up i feel creative and i feel like i'm going to get a beautiful look out of it and every look has been stunning so far so i would highly recommend this if you've been thinking about it it's one of those palettes that i don't think you can go wrong with her packaging is beautiful this time it just worked out so good for me okay that's it for the top 10 palettes that i purchased this year let me know what your favorite palette is this year i would love to hear that in the comment section from you thanks everyone for being with me for another installment of the favorites of 2021 we have a couple more to go through so i really hope that you're enjoying this pretty soon we'll be back to the regular regular tutorial I have a couple that I've been saving up and I'm excited to bring to you as well. Hope everybody is doing well. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here. If you would do that for me, please. I love you all so very much. I hope I get to see you back here again very soon at my next video. Goodbye, my friends.